Well, by now you've probably uh, seen some of the reports or heard about the potential tornado uh, that occurred yesterday in Warren, in the Market Street area, and also some damage in Barrington uh, near the golf course, near the Rhode Island Country Club. And when you look at the radar uh, from around that time, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, this is at 356. It's very difficult to tell here. This is, the, this is Warwick, and then we move across the bay right in here and into Barrington and Warren. And when we put this into motion, you'll see that we've got this uh, large, severe thunderstorm. This was a severe th uh, warned thunderstorm. And notice how right in there you get these very high DBZ uh, values on the radar. So a real intense storm that is cutting through Barrington into Warren at that point. And then it lifts into Swansea where it also did uh, some damage as it moved to the northeast. So no definitive look other than seeing uh, the very high reflectivity there. We knew this was an intense storm capable of producing strong winds. And when you look at uh, the velocity, the radial velocity, and we've got this overlaid over uh, Google Earth, you'll notice here we are, uh, Barrington right in there, uh, Route 114, and then Market Street in Warren is right there. And this is at 412, and we're going to step through this and green indicates the wind going in one direction, and red is going to indicate the wind going in a different direction. And when we move along and get to about 416, 417, somewhere in that time frame, right in there you can see uh, Soames Road and then across to Market Street, uh, seeing what looks like, to me anyway, a small tornado. I'm sure the Weather Service will get out there and conduct a survey, uh, but that looks like a small tornado that cutting through Warren, and then it quickly, uh, as you can see, by about 425 or so, has moved on and probably lifted. So a brief touchdown, most likely, where all that damage occurred in Warren on September 3rd.